I have completely lost my mind. Why would I want Linux Mint to look like Unity? Ha! Huh. The two distros compete with each other. What would possibly be the reason for wanting a Unity-like desktop? Well, I quite like the Unity desktop, but I don't like Canonical's implementation of it. So let's see what we can achieve in the Cinnamon desktop. Well, first off, I'm going to get rid of this panel at the bottom of the screen. So I right click on it, modify panel, then remove panel. And then it pops up, you don't have any panels added. Do you want to open the panel settings? Yes, sure, why not? So add a new panel on the left hand side, and then add another new panel out to the top of the screen. Then right click on the panel, go into panel edit mode, and I want to move the login ID up to there, the network configuration. Oh, come on. God, I've been so fussy. Yes. Volume control, basically everything at the bottom of the screen there. Well, now I want to resize the panels. So I right click on the panel, panel settings, and go into use customized panel size. So turn that on and change the panel width. For the left hand panel, I will put it up to maximum. Same thing for the top panel. So change that panel height. I'm um, just going to move that a little bit. With all the components shuffled around, it looks very reminiscent of the Unity desktop now. But there's something else we can do. We can get to the global menu. It's not guaranteed to work because it doesn't seem to be supported on the Cinnamon desktop anymore, but when I was trying it out earlier, it did work for the most part in the majority of applications that I tried. I need to download this package from GitHub. There'll be a link to this in the video description. So that's wget github.com forward slash lestcape forward slash global app menu forward slash archive forward slash master dot zip. And I also need to install a couple of packages. sudo apt install unity gtk2 module and unity gtk3 module. And I can't remember the commands to unzip it and move it around, so I'm going to go into Nemo and unzip it that way. So let's drag and drop that out. Let's take the easy option, uh, global app menu master. And I need this folder here, global app menu at Lest Cape. So cut. Back to your home folder. Show the hidden icons, so that's control H. And go to dot local, share, cinnamon, applets, and paste it here. Well, up to the top panel, add applets to panel. Then add to the global application menu. There is a warning here. So this extension utilizes system calls that could potentially cause your desktop to slow down or freeze in some hardware configurations. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll need to restart the computer. There's another add-on I'd like to get while I'm here. So shutdown. I wanted an alternate shutdown, so I've got shutdown menu with icons. It's entirely your choice whether you want this option. So I'm going to install it, back to installed applets, and enable it. Add to panel. Then I'm going to disable the user applet. So I'm swapping the shutdown menu with the user applet. And so, okay, we need to restart the computer and then it'll be finished. <laughs> okay, the menu's right over there, so I'll need to move that into panel edit mode again. Panel settings, panel edit mode, and move that across. Is it this awkward to pick up items normally? Come on. Perhaps I just don't have the knack to it. That is it. Done. Turn off panel edit mode. Let's open up terminal and Firefox to test it out. So a couple of different applications to see who has focus. So yeah, that's Firefox working. Then terminal. Yep. Excellent. So that is how to style Linux Mint to look like Unity. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.